A uh, very interesting fact is that neither of the top three teams, West Torrens included with Walkerville and Sturt, none of them have given up a run this season. Uh, so, fantastic acquisition. Merkin in the action again, waits for this one this time, but plenty of time to make the out. Powerhouse in this Falcons lineup. She just jammed up a little, and Dressick's going to get an easy ground ball to. We can't start a new inning. Robinson gets a nice piece of this one. It's going to drop in between the two Aussie Spirit players in Cameron and White. Even with two strikes, well, she goes after this one and a line drive to Belinda White. Good piece of the ball. Stolen base, a hit and run. So, Lee, you called it the batter before. Bring position for your big hitter as she reaches for this one. It's going to be catchable for Tonkin. Piece of the ball, it's a ground ball to shortstop Belinda White. One of the best arms in the league. Well, Belinda White crushes this one inside out and it goes to the fence. George picks it up with a great arm. She's in trouble here, but it's collected on the face. So that's actually good infield work from Sophie Roberts, but Belinda White in a little trouble. So let's hope she's okay. She's already thinking third base, but George's arm from right field Lee was absolutely terrific as she dove back watching the trailer. That was Sophie Roberts covering from first base. She had her leg out. Belinda White dove straight into the knee. <laughs> Bunt from Tonkin. This one goes to Roberts at first and she makes the out. So Tonkin, oh, a step away from being safe. So, well, as predicted, oh, that one's come off of Dressick and she was in the field of play. So there you go, the 3-0 count itself added that little bit of pressure. Gets the ball into play. Great play from Roberts as she turns one and just a slight overthrow there from Robinson as they, she's on deck for the Falcons. Adams chops this one and Merkin has to wait. Gets the throw across. She's got such a great arm, Lee. It was low and a good take from Sophie Roberts. Swing and a miss. So the first strikeout victim of the game. Well, payoff pitch now for George. As she gets a great piece of the ball, the diving Jesse Keats gets a glove to it. Just sends a foul. George is going to turn two and stand up at second base. Welcome to the competition, Ashley George. She is a likely type. One to watch this season, Lee, as we watch the statewide super replay. In the bottom of the second, runner at two. Swing and a miss, so two Excellent strikeouts pitch. in the inning for Zali Adams. She yeah, so she played um, at uh, Boston College. She played with a lot of friends of mine, but I have not played against her before. A men's premiership softball player, Dave Rodman. What a great bunt from Ada Caruana. She's going to be safe every day of the week. One of the quickest players in our game, Tori. Two on base. Oh, well, uh, this is a double steal. Uh -oh. And it's just hit the batter in the box. <laughs> Timeout called and... That is just unfortunate for the Cats. Maybe even a little lucky that it didn't deflect into foul territory exactly. as the runners safely advance to second and third. That's not a bad throw from catcher, but I think she didn't have a very big target to hit, and she hit her. Super slow-mo. Oh, it's, it wasn't the bat, it was the back of the helmet. Diamond one. Absolutely. Piece of the ball from Tonkin. Atkins is tagging up. Roberts comes into trail. She has to take that one. Big collars, it's offline. Pippa Atkins dives in at home. A sacrifice fly to Sarah Tonka, the second run of the ball game. Statewide Super Replay will see that all it took was an outfield shot. Pippa Atkins time tagging up in third, takes off on the catch. The throws offline and the second run scores. So kind of wanted to play a little bit more softball before I Tonkin goes get into after this role. first pitch and it gets into the gap. George has got a good arm and she hits the cutoff, but Maybe she got to play it first, but who knows? It was uh, well fielded in the end, but Rachel Tonkin single scores the third run of the game, second in the inning. So, gee, the Falcons are rolling here, Lee. You predicted a 3 2 game, and there you go. Falcons have scored their three. Mm. Let's watch the statewide super replay. She chops at this ball, and Jim Morales just couldn't get there. Probably not. You know, this one goes probably. up the middle, and Chelsea Robinson will make the out. and. Swedish 
international right here as Chelsea Robinson hits nice. her second hit of the ball game. Another little chick of Jordan Lee had a little bit of trouble negotiating that one as Robinson turns that single into a double. Won the World Series this year. They did. Um, unfortunately, it was a year after I graduated, but. Um between her and Gabby Schneider already. Rips Look the ball, that. this one to first base. Great support and back up from the inning by the Walkerville Cats. Jesse Keats gets a piece of this one. Super Roberts makes no mistake. Up 30 minutes left in the game. Zali Adams is the hitter, pops it up to Chelsea Robinson at shortstop. Now you've got a of this game. We'll go to top spot, believe it or not, with uh, 104, a strikeout to end the two and sets up outside and that is a rise ball that Yancey cannot connect with. So swing and a miss, second strikeout of the inning. We saw that in the third inning with a running bunt advancing around. Great pitch from Zali Adamson for the second time. This game strikes out the side. The Glenelg Rebels right here on Spacequake Sports. Strikeout looking. This is the danger part, two, three, four. Piece of the ball, Bianca Ramsey gets under it, but it's over her head. This is gonna go two bounces and into the fence. Just off of the statewide super sign. Sarah Tonkin does the job for the Falcons. Six minutes before no new innings, gets a piece of the ball, it's up the middle, it's gonna advance Sarah Tonkin. Two, third, they're gonna take on the arm of Bianca Ramsey. The cut was made, Roberts turns blind. The wrong way, the run scores. Maddie Cameron slides in to second base. And there's the lead. This game's got it all. Maddie Cameron on the statewide super replay. Gets a piece of the ball, throws the bat, and almost goes as far as the ball did. Watches where the throw goes and safely arrives at second. This will be the angle where we'll see the runner score from third, Sarah Tonkin. Without hesitation, not breaking stride, the throw from Ramsey just goes to the wrong side wrong of Roberts. Side. Yep. Has to turn blind. Great piece of the ball from Cameron. Piece of the ball right side. George was on a stretch. She's got a gun arm. Are they going to take her on? Just missed the cutoff and it's into no man's land. A second run will score for the inning. Fifth run of the game for the Falcons. I'm, I'm nearly speechless. I, we haven't seen this against the Cats. The aggression of the Falcons. I, I, before the game, I would have said that the short game would have been their strength for the Falcons, but it's been their ability to score runs. Belinda White does it on this occasion. Hits opposite field, gets it away from the right fielder in George. She fires it in. What a great, I'm so impressed with George Lee and the runner from. No damage, uh, I guess it's a good in high sight. Running run attempt, Merkin picks it up in fair territory. Rachel Tonkin. That's a very good out. Did, you say, did she? Well. Piece of the We're ball soon going to find ball out. To Chelsea Robinson, who will make the play. Three outs to end the inning. As Jesse would be. Great piece of the ball. This oh. one's going over the head of ben Millie Nathan. Finch, all the way to the fence. Haley Benithan is quick around the bases. She, throw just misses the cutoff, but trailing behind the cutoff player is Belinda White. She'll mop that up, but Haley Benithan leads off the bottom of the fifth inning. With a triple. Benithan just waiting for an opportunity. Here's that ground ball I'm talking about. Belinda White, ultimate respect paid there. A slow roller would have seen any runner take off normally, but not on the arm of Belinda White. A little underrated because of the star power this Cats team has. A little dribble off the end of the bat. It's spinning, it's turning. Benithan just handcuffed a little bit at third. She puts her hands on her head. Nothing you can do when it goes straight back to the pitcher. Piece of the ball's out right side, but it's in the air. Millie Fidge gets under it. Took a rifle right at the end, but took a catch. Try and be a bit Little more casual the out there. <laughs> oh, and the Sturt Falcons upset winners.